Hey everyone, I'm Yash Desai from SEO Unleashed with Yash and on this channel I make videos on issues that could be beneficial for agency owners, freelancers and business owners as well. So on, in today's video I'll be going over how to audit your Google business profile so that you exactly know where is the room for improvement and you could just tweak that and you know get higher ranking in Google. So let's get started. First of all you will need a tool that is JMB Everywhere. It is a free tool. So go and install it. I will also link uh, it in the description and yeah let's directly jump into the video and in case you want any of my services just uh, go into the description and i will uh, you know i will leave a link there so as i said we'll need a tool that is jmb everywhere it is a it is an absolutely free tool so let's directly jump into the audit so the first thing that we are gonna see is primary category okay so this is one of the most important ranking factor you have to see whether your gmb has the same primary category as the business ranking on Google business uh, or Google Maps okay so how we can do is just search the keyword that you're looking to you know uh, that you're looking to rank for and then you will then you will see businesses ranking here and when you install this Chrome extension known as GMB everywhere you will see this is the primary category this is the secondary category and this is secondary category as well so with primary category you will see a star linked here and then you will have to go to your listing uh, suppose it's this one is your listing you have to go into your, your listing and see what you are using as primary category so this one is also using dentist so it's it's definitely good okay so the second thing that we wanna see is secondary category okay so basically google allows you to add you know number of secondary categories i guess it's uh, it's like 10 maximum so many people you know kind of overuse it you don't have to do, you don't have to oversaturate it because you know using minimum secondary category but you know having the relevancy between primary category and the secondary category is the key to ranking okay so you don't have to just uh, you know for instance you don't have to just add uh, another you know secondary category like doctor and then you know uh, teeth whitening service as well because that just, Google just knows that uh, teeth whitening service comes under dentist and the doctor is just much more broader term that we don't want to use so try to you know maximum use five uh, per secondary category and not more than that so you can also see secondary categories that uh, the businesses are ranking uh, what are the secondary categories that they are using and then you can just uh, you know use the same in your for your business as well so the next thing is citations what is citation so basically citation is a uh, you know mention of your uh, your name address and phone number in someone's other business sorry in someone someone other uh, website uh, possibly or particularly a business directory it could be local it could be national or, or it could be also niche specific so you have to make sure you know you are uh, actually uh, you are listed on the directories that your competitors uh, you know have already uh, listed okay so how you can search where your competitors are already listed so one thing that you could do is just copy their phone number and then go on google use column paste the phone number and then just go search Google will give you the website where it is able to find that number for instance in this one Google is just giving one because only in one website only one uh, citation has been indexed right so but that doesn't mean that this business uh, is only listed on that one particular uh, website it may be listed on 100 of them but it's just that those are not indexed so is that beneficial that uh, you know uh, when your directory or when your citation is not indexed yes it does even though uh, if it is indexed it definitely passes more power but sometimes google just ignores some of the directories but it's it's definitely you know it's def definitely useful to rank on as ma as many as quality directories as you can so you can use three tools for this first citation builder pro this is an absolutely free tool i have already showed you how to build citation uh, i will also link that video in the description and then another video, uh, sorry, another uh, tool is Whitespark. This is a paid tool, but this does a great work. Then another thing is me, and yeah, I do provide the service. I use Whitespark for this, and my team all uh, my team does this for you. And you know, you have to just pay a minimal fee for that. So it's all your it's uh, your call. Uh, what you want to use, you can either go the free way or the paid ones, but the quality ones. Okay. So another thing is business de description. So what you have to do is. See, uh, Google allows maximum 750 characters in the business description. Okay, that's uh, pretty good considering the you know considering the paragraph that it can uh, it can show. Okay, 
so when you click a description sorry when you click a listing and then go down then oh oof, it used to show here let me see let me see why it ain't showing okay here we go i forgot that google has stopped showing description just in the maps or oh, you have to actually search the business name and you will see business description here okay so we'll see this business is using pretty good number of words in the description and they are using they are using you know see missouri they are using the state then you know they're using the city city names then postcode as well so this is actually you know giving it more relevancy to this particular business and then they're also using see they're also using uh, you know primary keywords in the description so you have to you know use first primary character so primary keyword secondary keyword then you have you also have to use the city that you are trying to rank for and then you also have to use the post code because it actually gives more relevancy to that particular keyword so yeah this is all about description and then we will be moving into q a or or question and answer that people may ask so see here we go so this is a q a that someone asked uh, someone asked and and you can also add, you know, you can also add a Q and A from your from your admin uh, admin dashboard only. But it doesn't pass as much much uh, you know juice or much uh, authority or relevancy to Google. So it will be good if you can you know add a, add a Q and A with with some uh, keywords in it from someone from some local guide account or some you know random account and not the admin account. Okay. So yeah, you can do that, and. In, in in case you don't know uh you know what to uh, add as q a just see what your competitors are using and then you can just add those and make sure to answer them properly because many times uh you know people or the patients that who are looking for your particular listing in case you know for this dental practice they may also see this q a okay so also use keywords in it because it, it definitely gives some you know some boost in it then what we have is reviews this is one of the most important ranking factor a big 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 ranking factor okay so first thing is are any of your are any of your, uh, you know customers have used keywords in the reviews so let's see so i have searched dentist steel or st louis okay and if you see this listing let me click and let's go below so see first wisdom tooth this is a you know, uh, this is a keyword that this clinic would be trying, trying to rank for because this is a good, you know, good keyword. And then if you click here, you will see more, more people using the keywords in it. And in case more people are using it, it definitely, you know, gives a boost uh, in ranking for that particular keyword. So in case none of your customers have used, uh, you used a keyword uh, in the, in the reviews, so whenever from now on you will be asking them to leave a review ask them to add a word or something like that you could just ask uh it would be you know could you do, do us a favor uh, could you add this word to the to your reviews when you are leaving a review and then you could you could just you know give them direction on how to leave a review how to leave a proper review that could help you as well and also one thing when they leave a review with a photo you know of your service this gives a this gives a great boost to your listing okay and this definitely helps so let's see how how many of these reviews have actually uh you know a photo in it none none of them and this listing is also not replying to this review they are doing a huge mistake right uh, also from the eyes of google and then also as a patient i would as a sorry as a customer i would definitely like a uh, business who cares about me who likes you know who replies me when i you know when i when i do the effort of leaving a review okay another one see how they have you know how this how this customer has left a review this is a great one he's uh, using keyword here dental care still then also using you know here then dentist word this is a good one okay these kinds of reviews are actually the valuable ones and that actually gives you the boost another thing local guide accounts are the reviews sorry are the accounts who are leaving reviews uh local guide not uh you know all of them have to be but having uh five is to one ratio is pretty good 
but in this case seems none of them none of the you know reviews uh, is left by a local guide except this one see this one google actually trusts this one more than these one okay because you know local guide is an authoritative uh, authoritative signal uh, or authoritative you know something a badge that give uh, that google gives to some particular mails and that actually really helps if you leave a review in your particular location or a business in your particular location okay the next thing is review counts how many reviews your competitors have uh, your competitors have and then how many reviews do you have okay for instance here this one is having 19 and this one is having five five or seven okay so why i am uh, why am i seeing the 19 when over the 507 okay so the prime reason is proximity okay so let me clear one thing the most important factor in ranking a gm based proximity if i am you know if i am close to a dental clinic and another clinic having triple or you know quadruple the reviews but i am pretty you know i am pretty distant from it google will show me the one uh, closest to me okay no matter if it might have you know some less reviews than the one uh, you know distant from me but it will show me the one who is closest to me so that's why in this case it's showing me the listing with 19 reviews instead of the one with 507 got it but it definitely helps it definitely helps in case uh, you know uh, uh, in case this one 507 is, is uh, it might be very distant from me but google is still showing this because it has great number of reviews okay another one average rating for instance if you see here this one is having 4.9 average rating this one is having 4.8 so 4.9 uh, will have you know more chances of uh, ranking if if it has the same or or approximate same number of reviews in it okay the next thing is post so you don't have to go into a listing and scroll how many posts uh, it has you can just use gmb everywhere tool and it will you know give you all the details that you need so just click on post audit once you install this chrome extension let me do it yeah you see here let me do another one because i saw this one this clinic hasn't posted anything from a long time okay click on post audit and then it will analyze the listing okay and then give uh, the tool some time and it will analyze the listing on its own and it will count the number of posts it has okay so posts are not very big or very important factor in ranking but it does have some it does have some uh, you know some weight in it okay it seems the tool is not able to grab the post uh, as of now but it might be just uh, you know just a bug from my side uh, you could just try it uh, and in case you're seeing the same bug just search the you know the gmb that is ranking on google and then you will see updates here so these are the posts and what you have to say is how many times does this particular listing that is ranking is posting in a month so it's it's may it's may 1 today and this post uh, was published five days ago this one april 14 april 6 so nearly just three posts in a month so i can plan my posting as per that i just have to do more times than my competitors you have to analyze four to five listing as such and then you have to you know then you have to count on your own and then you have to do it the next thing is photos and videos photos is a big 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 ranking factor and it definitely helps see how many photos your 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 competitors have and how many do you have for instance if you see this one this listing has 20 photos and i can click on another listing and it will show me how many photos does this one have it has 14 photos and i can post more than that and uh, you know it will be definitely it will be good for my listing so uh, these were all the main points that that you have to remember when doing a gmb audit i hope i hope you like the video just in case you have any you know just in case you have any question put in in the comments and i will be, i will be happy to help you and also i do have a service of gmb audit that i will leave in the link leave in the description so you can just buy in case you don't want to spend so much of time in it have a great day